Well, good morning, Hot Rod. We have a big day today, my friend. Big, big day. So let's go to the park. What do you say? You want to do that? You want to go to the park? Let's do it. We have arrived. We got here a little early today, so it's only John the lawnmower. Well, good morning, my friends. Your old pal Jordan the Lion, and we made it out to the park. Not one dog here, so that customary 20 minutes that Ja always takes to find, you know, someone to, like a dog to find him and work on him to get them to play. He's not even gonna have to worry about that because there's nobody out here to try. So Breck's gonna come up today. We're gonna do our, uh, we actually have a pretty big day actually, but I want to give you a heads up. Those two albums that I bought the other day, the Steve Malcolm's and the Jicks and the Super Chunk album, both of them turned out to be awesome. Every song on them, pretty much awesome. So if you were looking for new music, check out both of those. Uh, one's called Sparkle Hard, and the other one is called, I forget, it's something political. The Super Chunk one's like something like the times we're living in or these times or something, I forget. I'll tell you later. Yeah, so once Brett gets here, we can get the vlog in motion. All right, he found somebody to play with, or at least follow around. So today, one of the things that I have to do is finish getting ready all the things that I'm going to be doing and taking to Portugal. Well, this place was a dud today. I think we're going to get out of here. All right, you know what we got to do now. Very important that we do this today. Very important. You had to get some treats today, didn't you, buddy? You had to. Well, as you can probably tell, that is a pile of Jaws food. That's right. Today's the day, guys. The reason Breck's on his way over is because he's picking up Jaw, and I'm flying out to Portugal today. LA to Portugal via one other country, and that other country is actually what we're gonna vlog today. And I'm constantly attempting to try and take as little as possible. So every time I've traveled, I pretty much take a smaller amount of stuff. Last time I took a suitcase and a backpack, this time I'm trying to take just a backpack. I also bought a collapsible backpack, so once I get to wherever I'm going, I can take that out, it's waterproof, and I can put a handful of stuff in there as well. Well, Breck's here to take care of my little man, and John, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, buddy, but we had fun today, didn't we? We didn't show him, but we laid out your battle mat and we wrestled for a good half hour, so. I'll see you very soon. Very, very soon, Joster. Well, Breck's nice enough to give me a ride over to the Hollywood Flyaway, so. Get a few extra moments with this Joker. All right, last goodbyes with this guy. Bye, Jaw. And so the adventure begins again. We're here. We're through security, now let's hit it to the gate. All right, I got about an hour to kill, so I decided to get an umami burger, and I'm trying that impossible burger. I guess it's like a uh, plant-based plant cheeseburger or something like that. Well, it definitely looks like a cheeseburger, but it does not smell like one. Well, in my experience, whenever you fly the cheap airlines international, at least at LAX, they always send you to the far corners of the airport, like down some stairs, you have to take a bus or something out to the plane. And once again, this is no exception. <laughs> Same thing today. See what I mean? All right, I see my destination up there. On to the bus. Well, unfortunately, no window seat this time, guys. We have arrived. All right, gang, well, we made it to our first stop. The problem is, even though we made it here, I thought I would have like two or three hours to kill and go roam around Amsterdam since that's where we landed, but uh, 
I've asked about four people that work here. They've looked at what my connecting flight is and they said just with immigration and customs and getting back in and everything, they said they highly recommend I not leave. So they said if I did, I would have to come back like in an hour. So I think unfortunately, we're not gonna get to explore Amsterdam today. Just have to look around the airport and uh, our next stop's Lisbon. Well, that's a real bummer, guys, because I, uh, I had a whole plan of things I was gonna stop by and see that we didn't get to see last time we were in Amsterdam, so. I guess instead when we get to Lisbon we'll have to do a night vlog. And I guess this will have to be the extent of our Amsterdam flowers. Oh well, at least we can look at the souvenirs I guess. Wow, nice. Wow, that restaurant over there looks pretty fancy. Should we go check it out? Almost looks like a creation by someone who created the Eiffel Tower or something. Well, I'm gonna try it out. All right, I got a salmon panini. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't bummed that we're not going to get to see more Amsterdam, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be this time. Sometimes it's cool just to watch people walk around and wonder where they're coming from or where they're from or where they're going. That's a big burger. Well, there's that tree in the middle of the airport I was looking for. Well, since I have two hours to kill and I can't leave, let's try out one of these massager chairs. All right, shiatsu massage beginning now. I got the back working and the legs working. Five minutes for two euro, not bad. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, 10 hours on the plane, I deserve this. All right, massage o -matic. great job. That was awesome. But let's go outside for a little bit. It's kind of a cool little outdoor area. You can at least look at the planes while you're waiting. Part of the reason they didn't want me to leave the airport, even though I had like four and a half hours, was that they said, you have to be back a mandatory, since I'm leaving the country, of two and a half hours before. I have to check in two and a half hours before. Plus they said this is an ultra busy day. And it looks to be. Now if just one person told me no you shouldn't go, then I probably would have went. But I actually asked four different people and all four of them said I really don't think you should leave. Well if you're curious as to what I had planned today that we're not going to get to do is I was going to go to the Rijksmuseum, I was going to go to Vondel Park, and I was going to go to the Bloodstained House. No, I was going to Lisbon. Does that say so go on? That's what it looks like. So, go on. All right, next stop, Lisbon, Portugal. All right, we landed. Safe and sound in Lisbon. It has been a long day of travel, but we are finally here in Lisbon. It's about 7.30 p.m. We're gonna hop on the train, head to where I'm staying, and we're gonna explore the city as much as we can tonight. All right, I changed my mind. Since it was such a long flight, I just decided to take a taxi. I think it looks, looks like it's like a 20 minute taxi ride or an hour on the train. I bet that's for football. Well, I just got dropped off and my driver said, my friend, this pastry shop right here is one of the best in all of Lisbon, so we're gonna try it out while we're here. And it's convenient because I'm staying right upstairs. Oh, hello, nice cow. Well, Lisbon, we have arrived. Now let's go check in. All right, one of the first things that you might notice about Lisbon is that some people consider it to be almost a sister city to San Francisco, and I'll show you why. I wanted to come walking through this park because I saw a couple of statues here worth checking out. Like this one. You guys know me, I love my statues. Now one of the interesting things about Portugal is that at one point, most of you probably know because of my Italy adventures, that Italy was pretty much the hub of merchantry and it was the, the main trading capital until the 1500s when Vasco da Gama and many other famous explorers like Magellan 
set out from here, Vasco da Gama discovered India. Within 10 years, Portugal was pretty much the main trading port here in Europe. So of course Vasco da Gama is buried here and the monastery that he prayed and set sailed from is also still here. I mean, he's not buried in this specific spot, but we will see the spot that he's buried while we're here on this trip. Plus, one of the great things we're gonna see while we're here is a lot of these shrubbery maze gardens. I'm gonna switch lenses. Let's take a closer look at this guy up here. There he is. Ooh, let's check this one out. This one's even better. So much great detail to this. Now you already saw the street cars, so you know that they have some train cars here, but what I didn't tell you was not only do they have new train cars, they actually have some of the originals from the 1920s that go up and down these streets as well. So we'll probably see those tomorrow as well. Now one of the other reasons that Lisbon gets compared to San Francisco often is because of this. It's not exactly the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's called the April 25th Bridge here. It's the 32nd longest suspension bridge in the world, and it was built by the same company that made the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge and tomorrow I'm hoping to make my way up there to that Jesus Christ that is a replica of the one in South America well that's kind of interesting they have some art exhibits out here right over by the water and I noticed this one it looks like a almost like a lifeguard ladder doesn't it there's a few other things over here Yep, definitely starting to get dark out here. It's been a long day for me. I do want to go get something to eat before the, uh, the day comes to an end though. All right, well we got to go out and see a little bit of Lisbon before the sun went down. Not much, but this is my room. I'm gonna drop off some stuff again. I'm gonna go get something to eat and call it a night. Gotta love the old style architecture out here. This actually does remind me of Holland. I definitely think America needs more yellow and green and pink and blue buildings. I'm not gonna say who, but I have a friend who got a letter in the mail from his homeowners association telling him the four options of colors that he could choose to paint his house. None of them, when I looked at the patterns, were exciting to me. But I see stuff like this and I go, well, it might not be the cleanest, nicest, but it's definitely got some character. I love it. Well, I was looking online and over here in this neighborhood, it looks like there's a couple of really good places. So I've decided on one. Funny because I actually noticed it first and got a good feeling. And I was like, maybe I should go there. And then I looked up uh, recommended places and this was one of the top ones. So let's do it. And this is it. Let's give it a try. Well, literally as I was walking in, they said they're closed, so I guess we have to go somewhere else. Let's go take a look at this. Looks like a mosaic of some sort, some artwork or something. And then all along the walls up here, there are some birds. No, it's dark, so you may not be able to see it too well, but they did the mosaic over here to where it looks like it's been ripped into shreds. Do you see that? I love that, that's so cool. And this is what I noticed walking along the sidewalk and I said, I gotta go up there and see what this is and who he is. I ended up going with this place because everything else was getting ready to close up. Well, I got my dinner and I'm gonna call it a night, my friends. I wanted to thank Taylor Elkins for becoming my newest Patreon. Come back and see me tomorrow. We have more Portugal to explore. Have a great night and goodbye. <laughs>